Hello everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we will be diving into the lore behind Mount Gorillam and the Caliph. Ready? Let's go. The mountain of Gorillam is like nothing we've ever seen before. The mountain looks like a volcano, but the lava is blue instead of red. And we can find advanced machinery here. In and around the mountain we can see strange looking creatures and it seems that they live there. Although they don't seem to have the means to grow food or have a place to sleep. These creatures are called the Caliph and their story is an interesting one. Let's explore the Caliph society. The Caliph are the creatures that inhabit Mount Kurulum. They have their own language but talk in the common tongue because most creatures couldn't learn their language. Caliph society is very organized and each person has a role to play. Their main goal is to serve the balance between life and death. Caliph society can be broken down into four categories. We have the Maiten, Sihar, Karen and Narga. Maiten means hunter. The Caliph that have this title serve the balance by killing or giving people assignments to kill other creatures. They believe that with each life there should be one death. The Slayer Master that we can find just below the bridge is called Konar Komaten. Translated to our tongue, that means Konar the Hunter. She is the person that gives humans kill targets or assignments. Humans are called bringers of death in their culture, so that's why they mostly use humans to kill for them. Sihar means mystic. The Caliphs that have this title serve the balance by spreading their beliefs and sending people to the hunters. Karen means artisan. The caliph that have this title serve the balance by raising funds, but only use these funds to pay the adventurers when they finish an assignment, as they don't really care about money or possessions. Narga means defender. The caliph that have this title serve the balance by defending Mount Kurilum against any intruders. To become a caliph, you have to abandon all attachments, both physically and emotionally. So they don't really have a use for money. The caliph used to be humans before they were changed by the Tassakal. These Tassakal are golem-like creatures that live in Mount Kurilum. They used to be Teshethar, but they left their home, which was called Mor Yurek. After the Teshethar were made by the Elder Gods just before the First Age, they were told to wait for them. These golems waited for thousands of years, till in the third age they decided to leave their home under the Karamja volcano. They went to Mount Kurilum, which was an abandoned laboratory at the time, and created the Caliph to serve them in their vision of balance. Although they have the same vision as Gothix, they see him as a pretender and serve a higher god, but they don't tell us which god. The Tassakal have the power to grant creatures immortality and they have used this power a couple of times. The most notable instance is the immortality given to Lord Troban of House Archaeus. Lord Troban asked for the power of immortality to save his wife, but he misused the power that he had gained. He asked everyone in House Archaeus if they wanted to become immortal, and many said yes. This event was called the Ascent of Archaeus. The Tashakal were furious because the balance between life and death was now disturbed and they were taken advantage of. The Tashakal still consider the people of Archaeus useful, as they help maintain the balance between life and death by releasing souls which should have been sent to the afterlife long ago. The Tashakal also tell us of someone else that had received more immortality and misused it, but they didn't tell us who the person was. It is likely that they are talking about a mage called Zarek who gained immortality back in the 4th age and created the chambers of Zarek and also ruled Kurend many years ago. Many think he's dead, but in the last year we have heard many rumors about someone sabotaging the Winterthard prison and the dark altar leading to the death of an Archaeus citizen. The Tassakal used an adventurer to kill a spirit that possessed a dead body. After the adventurer killed the spirit, he talked to one of the Tassakal and this was what they said. Was it always there? No. The body was of one who died a long time ago, but the soul was of one who died more recently. It possessed this body, 
We know not why. Is this something that often happened? No. It is a concerning occurrence. We believe a mortal to be involved. Meddling. But one should not meddle. Interesting. Jarek is not mortal anymore. But we heard from Lord Trobin that the Talasakal view anyone but themselves as mortals. So this doesn't exclude Xeric. Xeric probably killed someone and put their soul in that body, so it wouldn't be found. But we do not know to who the soul belonged to. This was the episode about the Tassakal and the Caliph. As soon as there are more quests about Mount Corillum, I will be making more videos going even deeper into the lore. Guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to drop a like <laughs> and press the notification button. And also subscribe if you like this episode. Have a fantastic day.